Hey, welcome back to the shop. Okay, I'm still working on my old Jimmy, and uh, I think these oil cooler lines were leaking just a little bit. <laughs> uh, these things, are, these are factory, uh, so they're 22 years old. I mean, these things are old enough to vote, and if they were Democrats, they've already voted three times, but these were definitely leaking. I had this thing jacked up, and uh, had my exhaust exhaust system, exhaust sucker hooked up to it. And uh, this is the line that goes from the oil filter adapter on the block up to the remote oil filter. And these little holes right here at the end of the rubber hose, you could, I wiped this off down here as much as I could, and you could see a drip forming there and there. Now, I couldn't see up in here but I'm pretty sure these were leaking. There's some clean spots where those little holes are on this one, especially. And there's a, a clean spot up in here. So I think these were leaking there. Pretty sure of it anyway. Now these here, I am certain, this is the one that goes up to your radiator. This is where your remote oil filter is. This goes up to the radiator. And I know this one was leaking because I saw it dripping. So, uh, surprisingly enough, O'Reilly's had replacements in stock. And uh, the part number for the upper is 625-100. Part number for the lower is 625-001. And then the Felpro gasket kit that fits your uh, oil cooler or oil filter adapter that goes on the block uh, is a Echo Sierra 70016. So that might help somebody out. Now these things are, are prone to leak. I've got three of these Blazers or Jimmy Blazer machines of the same of the same generation. Actually, I've got the, well, it's the same generation. Just got a different hatchback. Uh, and they all leak. They're all just, just enough to make a mess. Now this, the one that I'm working on today is my work truck and I put a lot of miles on it and they're not nice miles. They're uh, going up and down the road miles. So it leaks really bad and I hated pulling up on people's driveways with with a 20 year old car peeing oil all over the place. And it was actually, it was only leaking motor oil. It was only leaking a quart between changes, but it was enough of a constant leak that it was embarrassing. And, uh, and it was just embarrassing, you know, and, and troublesome and it just gross. And it made the underneath of that thing just nasty. So uh, that's all I really got to say about that. These did, uh, these even came with the new little tri-clips. Pretty nice. Uh, I did have to look these parts up myself. Uh, sometimes when you go into a parts house, unless you're dealing with the commercial side, you know, you might not be getting the cream of crop of parts men. You know, some of these kids, they, you know, they're just young kids. They don't have a lot of experience, so you got to be patient with them. Especially when, you know, it's six o'clock on a Friday night. You know, the cream of the crop kids are not working on six o'clock on a Friday night. But, you know, be patient with them. But anyway, you got the part numbers now. Ain't no excuse for you not to get up underneath the greasy beast and work on it your own self. Y'all have a good one. Drive safe. Watch for deer.